Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about the state of Georgia and uh, some letters, some correspondence that they sent out. We'll talk about who got letters, who didn't get letters, and what that can tell us. I'm going to dash everybody's hopes just a little bit and then provide you uh, with a different type of hope. Okay, so I would imagine most of you know what I'm talking about by now, but if you don't, the special grand jury there in Georgia that is looking into possible criminal interference in the 2020 elections, uh, they sent out some subpoenas, quite a few of them. And for the most part, they're the names you would expect. Rudy Giuliani, Eastman, Jenna Ellis, Lindsey Graham, the people that you would expect. There's also a host of lesser known people who the names probably won't mean much unless you've been following it very closely. However, the scope of these subpoenas can tell us something. And that's that the grand jury's looking into everything. Everything. <laughs> um, from I don't know, perhaps calling and trying to find votes to the fake electors thing to simple stuff, you know, stuff that seems quaint almost, like lying to lawmakers. Um, it appears that they're looking into all of it. Now, to uh, dash everybody's hopes for, for a second, one thing I want to point out is that pretty much everybody... It may actually be everybody um, is either a lawyer or a lawmaker, meaning they're going to fight these subpoenas. They they will either argue that they have attorney-client privilege or they will argue that the speech and debate clause protects them. They will try to get out of testifying, uh, of uh, talking to the grand jury. I don't think they'll win, but if you're looking for a speedy resolution to this, I, I would manage your expectations a little bit. Um, but there is something else here. When you look at uh, the scope of what they're looking into and the names of people that they subpoenaed, while everybody who is named is somebody you would expect, there are people that you would expect that weren't named. There are people who might have been involved in some of this or have material knowledge about it that didn't get subpoenas. And these are, these are people who maybe there was even testimony in, in D.C. related to them having knowledge about. And you have to wonder why they didn't get subpoenaed, right? I mean, I would. I do. It, it's... Uh, it seems as though that could just be an oversight on the part of Georgia. Or maybe a situation has arisen that negates the need for a subpoena. Maybe there are people who were on the SS Trump who uh, realized they were polishing brass on the Titanic and they decided to jump ship. Maybe they entered into an agreement that negates the need for a subpoena. Because uh, by that agreement, they're going to say everything they know. It's a hunch. It's a possibility. Because there are definitely people who I feel would be included in this batch that weren't. And sure, I mean, it could just be a, an oversight, an accident, or... It could mean something else. But one thing that I find very humorous, myself anyway, is that uh, in the lead up to the 6th, a whole lot of these people, they were saying stuff like, it's going to be 1776. Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's going to be 1773. Because uh, I think a whole bunch of people are about to spill the tea. Anyway, it's just a thought. 
Y'all have a good day.